In this week's video, we go in search of an unknown waterfall in Golden Ears Provincial Park. I had a friend tell me about this waterfall. I've never seen it, I've never seen pictures of it, but he swears it's there, so why don't you follow along and see if we can find this waterfall together as we make our way into the forest and shoot some forest photography along the way. And then, hopefully, get some really beautiful shots of the waterfall. Good morning, everybody. Made our way to Golden Ears. It's uh, just after 9 a.m. It's pretty busy in the parking lot. A lot of fresh horse um, droppings. Uh, maybe a bunch of people out riding horses this morning. It's uh, fairly cool, three degrees. Uh, gonna go look for Mike Falls. I was out with a a new old friend, somebody I met on Instagram named Glenn Marcus. I'll leave a little link to his Instagram so you can go check him out. And he told me about Mike Falls here in Golden Ears, which I've never heard of and never been to. So that's where we're going today. So onward. I don't think I'll film too much of the trail because apparently it's just a fairly flat walk like this parallels the road a lot of the time so you might get a lot of road noise and once we get nearer to the falls I'll do a bit of video and if I see something interesting here in the forest I'll stop and take a shot of it but we shall uh, see if anything emerges otherwise I'll uh, save you the boring path walk all the way to the falls oh Ladies, how are you doing? How are you ladies doing? I'm doing okay. Did you just, did you just come here by yourself? I, I'm kidding, there's nobody there. Found a kind of a cool little composition here with um, a couple of moss covered trees that are uh, drooped over in between these two other trees that kind of frame them. So I framed up a shot here on the back of the camera. You can see. Uh, how it looks. Kind of interesting. Um, it's kind of ample yeah, like that, I guess. It's a three second exposure. I took it at F18 just to make sure I get all those trees and branches in sharp focus. And here it is. Right, so I took that first shot. Hopefully it turned out okay. I don't know how we see these forest shots and think, oh, that's an amazing image. And then I get it home and I go, eh. Got a lot of forest photos stored away somewhere that are <laughs> were amazing at the time, but mediocre when I see them on the computer. There's the car noise I was telling you about. Well, hopefully that one I just took uh, turned out okay. Onward to Mike Falls. So I now see what people mean about it's a bit of a boring walk. Some nice forest spots, but uh, the majority of it is just here right beside the road. So if you wanted to cut off a lot of the hike, you could have someone drop you at the spot where it crosses the road and you'd have a lot less boring of a walk to do. 
Oh, and this is a bit of a PSA for anyone who's using this um, Insta360 Ace Pro um, and trying to use a wireless mic on it. For three vlogs, I just plugged my, um, uh, what do you call it, wireless go into the, uh, the USB to USB-C plug that's in the camera from the wireless go. And uh, yeah, that doesn't work. I had no wireless audio. You actually have to buy the uh, the mic adapter, uh, which is about 30 bucks on Amazon. And it, now it works flawlessly, but uh, don't make the same mistake I did and uh, bypass that adapter because it doesn't work. Okay, here's where we make the mad dash across the road. And try not to get killed. Wonderful, I don't want to become a stat in the newspaper. All right, I'm across the road now. Back into the forest a little bit here, and I'm always on the lookout for interesting forest compositions, but uh, I don't know, they can tend to be a little bit busy. It's hard to get one that's a really nice, clean composition with no... See, with golden ears, they got all this brush. These little bushes and stuff in here between the trees, and it's hard to get a nice, clean shot. But uh, I do keep my eyes open. What I've noticed lately shooting with the GFX is I have to focus stack quite a bit. Sorry, I'm just looking to see if my wireless mic is working. Okay, so my wireless mic had already popped out of the uh, little housing. Um, what I was gonna say is I've started noticing on this GFX system that I have to focus stack a lot when I'm shooting at the sharpest apertures, which is, you know, f8, f9. And, um, but I had a lot of blur, Gaussian blur in that in my post-production. So now I've just started to shoot at f14, f16, even f18. I know it's, <gasps> but um, then I just don't add the blur to the photos and they come out almost the same um, just because of the diffraction of the, of the lenses at that, uh, at that narrow of an aperture so I don't know you want my advice don't be afraid to shoot at those apertures and uh, make sure everything's in focus it's more important than uh, having a little bit of diffraction in your photo because everybody's been adding that blur anyway so I know what you're thinking thanks tips you're welcome that one was free here's another free tip so if you're coming down Golden Ears Way and you see these boulders lined up here there is no no parking here so i think you're okay to park i don't see any no, any signs anyway so if you come in and park here and just walk right down here and hang a left you're almost immediately at the falls so you could save that uh that boring hike if you wanted to but don't get me wrong it is nice walking through the trees and i need the walk after my cactus cut potatoes last night from boston pizza so Boston Pizza, if you're watching, get in touch. And uh, yeah, I think we're almost at the falls. All right, so after about a half an hour of hiking, I finally fastened past my first two people. And uh, I'm starting to hear the sound of water falling, which is um, a good sign. It is February here, so there's usually lots of water, but it's been a very, very dry winter. Um, there's hardly any snow, which is very concerning. Could be a uh, long, smoky, hot summer again. Technically, we're still in the drought of, of 2023. We haven't really had that much snow or anything, so hopefully the falls look good. I can hear them, so we must be getting close. All right, I came across this little grouping of mushrooms on the way back. That looks kind of cool. Um, trying to take a interesting photo of it. I'm not sure what I'm going to get. Mike Falls is just a little bit further this way. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see if I can get something to work. Um, if I can, I'll uh, put it up now. Here it is.
so my all trails is telling me I gotta go right here because I don't see any path on the other side of the falls. So we will head this way, which is where I'm technically supposed to go. I don't know, like I said, first time here. First time user, long time subscriber. <laughs> okay, let's make our way down and see if we end up in the right spot. Okay, so yeah, we're at this cute little falls here. I uh, was worried it was gonna be tough to get rid of the top of this frame here with the trees in it, but I don't think I'm gonna have too much trouble. So I can see what Glenn said when he came down here. He was here when it was snowy and frozen. And uh, yeah, I can imagine this would be, uh, it's pretty steep, so <laughs> it's probably a bit dicey. He said he didn't have any cleats on, so. Oops, I almost fell myself. So I'll uh, wander down on the rocks here and frame up something and uh, show you what I've got. It's nice, it's a beautiful little falls. Um, looks like there's a little lower cascade too if you hike down a bit further. Not sure exactly how you get down there. There's kind of a trail heading off here. I'll uh, see about it later. But I'm down on the rocks here now ugh, where you can see uh, got some cool foreground stuff here going on. Might try to get over there. I'm not sure yet. Won't be too difficult to get across there, but because I don't like there's a big branch sticking out in the middle here, so see if I can make my way over there without uh, falling. Okay, I made my way across here and uh, I'll get set up and get a shot. Once I figure out, I'll probably switch to the 20 to 35, but I'll uh, take the camera out and have a little look first. All right, so here's the shot I got framed up here. It's the back of the camera. I am um, just gonna take one more shot here. So obviously, two, two second timer. Um, shooting it at nine. I have the ISO up to uh, 1000, just because I don't want too much motion blur in the, uh, in the water here, but I need the aperture around F9 or F10 to make sure everything's in focus. And uh, yeah, I like the way that this um, this log kind of points you into the falls. And I like that this, oops, this here points into the falls. Yeah, and, uh, it's a nice little, uh, Nice little waterfall, Mike Falls, no motion, so I'm not worried about uh, long exposures or anything, but I don't want too much blur anyway. So. Yeah, this is uh, around 125th of a second, I think it says there. And, uh, turns out half decent. And here's the shot of Mike Falls. All right, so hopefully that shot of Mike Falls turned out half decent. Uh, there is a trail that comes down. You can kind of see it winding down here. And it kind of continues this way uh, down towards that lower cascade. So I'm just going to kind of carefully make my way down rather than going back across the river again. If I have to go back across, well, I do. Uh, or almost certain. But uh, I want to see if I can get down to that lower cascade just to, you know, give it a look. I'm here and it's the same price, so let's uh, uh, bushwhack a little bit down. There definitely is a trail here. I don't know if this is from people or bears or animals, but let's go down and either get eaten alive or uh, fall, which I hit a stump. Sorry about that. That'll leave a mark on the shin. I told you I hit my shins. There's the proof. All these logs are so slippery. Okay, uh, yeah, it does look like there's a way down here. So I'm gonna pay attention to climbing and uh, I'll film when I get down there if I see anything that looks half decent. Ouch, hit my shin multiple times on these little, uh, like broken off branches growing out of these big trees. So I'm down here on the rocks now. 
Um, I can't, uh, the rocks are pretty slippery. I can't actually see that cascade yet. I'm gonna have to make my way up these rocks. Find the best way up that I'm not gonna slip. Uh, maybe that way. I'll go that way. All right, well, here's the cute little lower falls. It's, uh, I'm not sure if it's picture worthy or not. It's okay, I guess. You can see the upper falls. Hold on, I'll... up there. Sit right up in here. It's too bad you can't get a bit further up and get it all in all three cascades, but I don't know if I'll bother with a picture of this. I might just because I hiked my way down here. Sorry, it's a bit tough to show you the back of the camera, but what I did, got right down in the water here. And uh, I put this little cascade in the foreground, and then that falls in the background. And that looks kind of nice. I don't know if I'm thrilled with it or not. But, um, I'm focus stacking it. I put one uh, focus point in that back cast, that like near the back cascade, and then uh, one of the rocks in the foreground. And I'll probably have to focus stack them in the Yeah, it looks half decent. Then when I'm done, here it is. Okay, so I guess that's it from Mike Falls. I'm gonna hike my way back out of this. I'm just gonna stay on this side of the river, I think, and just follow that little kind of trail that went up. Hopefully all these shots turned out okay. If they did, that you saw them, um, go check out my Instagram, link in the description below, and my Flickr, where you see all the high resolution uh, photos that I took today. And yeah, as always, stay safe, take care everybody, and uh, now you've been to Mike Falls, and so have I. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.